They call us the All-Americans. The 82nd Division had been around since World War I. That was the first time we went to Europe and kicked the Hun back across the Rhine. But it wasn't until the bombs dropped on Pearl Harbor and the Nazis declared war on the United States that this new conflict got big enough to be thought of as a Second World War. That's the first time someone mentioned the 82nd Division might become airborne. They lined us up, asked for volunteers. For an extra 50 bucks a month, we'd be part of a great American experiment in warfare. We'd jump out of airplanes into combat. We'd be the first, the vanguard. We shipped off to Georgia for training, then England, then Operation Torch in Africa, where we got shot at by a bunch of French. Then one day, the brass came out of the briefing tent and gathered their leaders. Then the captains and sergeants got their guys. Within 15 minutes, word had reached every soldier in camp. This was it, Operation Husky. We were going in first.